Hello, in this video we're going to find the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the right of x minus 1 over x squared times x plus 2. So the first thing you should do when trying to find a limit is take this value and plug it in for all of the values of x. If you do that, however, in this case you end up with negative 2 minus 1 over negative 2 squared, and then here we get negative 2 plus 2. And that's basically going to give you negative 3 over 4 times 0. So you end up with 0 on the bottom, so that's no good. So the way to approach this is to try to just look at it intuitively and see if we can come up with the answer. So when you're getting really close to negative 2 in the numerator, you're basically going to get something really close to negative 2 minus 1. So you're going to get a negative number. So in the numerator, you have a negative number. In the denominator, when you're getting close to negative 2 from the right, uh, you're going to be squaring a negative number here, but it's being squared, so this is positive. So really what matters is this. So let's think about this. Here's negative 2. We're approaching from the right. Okay, so what's a number that's bigger than negative 2, but really close to negative 2? Maybe something like negative 1.99999, right? Just for an approximation. Right, it gets infinitely close. We can't really stop on a number, it's not correct. But if you were to take something that's infinitely close to negative 2 and bigger than negative 2 and add it to 2, you would get a positive number. Right, it would be positive. So basically you're going to get a very small positive number. So whenever you have something small on the bottom, the fraction becomes big. Except there's a negative in this fraction. So this is going to approach negative infinity. So the answer in this case is going to be negative infinity. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck.